This is the first video of section 7 on scripting. This section will expand our scripting knowledge from section 6. In this video we'll add a list of toggle boxes on screen to hide or show pre-selected game objects. Hiding and showing objects can be used to allow the user to control the visibility of design options, to hide building parts or to toggle the display of furniture. We will first collect a list of objects that we want to toggle. Then a toggle box will be displayed as part of our user interface. And finally, we need to traverse the list of objects to effectively hide or show them on screen. We start from the building model we already used in the previous sections. Check the hierarchy, play with the active checkbox and the mesh renderer component, which can be deactivated too. Both can hide objects, but we'll focus on the active state in our script. Create a new c -sharp script and call it Toggle Objects. Open it in MonoDevelop. To be able to handle a list of game objects, we use an array variable. Write public class game objects with square brackets to indicate that it's an array and as a name objects and with a semicolon. Then we want to add a series of toggles for each object in our list, which we will use to show and hide them. This is done in the onGUI method. With the for each, we step through all game objects in the objects array. In each step, we can use the go variable to access the array item. So for each game object, go in objects. Close the brackets, open the curly brackets. We use GUI layout, which provides automatic placement of GUI items. So we don't need to add a separate rectangle statement here. The value of the toggle, which can be on or off, true or false, will be the active self property of the object. And the text that is displayed is simply the name property of the object. Save the script and test it in Unity. We create an empty game object and drag the script to it. Now we can configure the array by dragging some objects from the model onto the list. Press play to test the script. You should see three toggles in the upper left corner of the game objects. But the toggles are not functional yet. Stop and switch back to mono develop. We now add a bool variable with name active that captures the result of the toggle function. If this variable differs from the active self property of the game object, then we will toggle it with the returned value. So if active is different from go.activeSelf, then we call go the method setActive and as a parameter the active boolean. This ensures that objects are only toggled when we effectively click on one of the toggles in the game view. Save and test again. Now you can hide or show the objects you configured in the array. Beware that this method activates or deactivates an object and all its children at once. This is easy to do, but also deactivates any scripts and other components that are running on these objects, so be careful what you toggle. In this video lesson, we learned how to change the active property of game objects in a script. We used the GUI layout toggle method to display the different toggles on screen and let Unity take care of hiding objects and their children. In the next video, we will make a script to switch between different viewpoints.